FBI whistleblowers making their case yesterday, testifying how the agency retaliated against them for speaking out. The FBI suspended my security clearance, accusing me of actually being disloyal to my country. This outrageous and insulting accusation is based on unsubstantiated accusations that I hold conspiratorial views regarding the events of January 6, 2021. You may think I'm a political partisan. You may think I'm a grifter. You may think I'm a conspiracy theorist. It does not matter. Simply put, this committee should avoid te the temptation to impugn the character and the motivations of the messengers seated before you. Select Subcommittee on the Weaponization of the Federal Government and Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamick joins us now. Good morning to you, Congresswoman. Good morning. How Good morning. are you doing? Doing well. We saw you yesterday on the uh, when y'all had your presser in the morning. We aired that on Fox and Friends, and we watched throughout the day at the hearing. Coming away from that hearing, what shocks you the most? Oh, that was one for the books, Ainsley. You know, it was incredibly uh, disappointing that our Democrat colleagues couldn't put party politics aside and listen to these three men who have put their careers, their families, their entire lives on the line for this country, not in just the military and law enforcement, uh, but now in coming forward as whistleblowers. But you know, I think the most shocking thing was the revelations that these whistleblowers gave us and how they had come forward. They had expressed dismay and concern about some of the tactics and directives of the FBI against American citizens. And they were subsequently suspended without pay, their clearances revoked, and then they were left to languish. As one witness said, they will crush you for not towing the company line. If you do not comply with the political agenda of the FBI, they will crush you. That, I think, right there exemplifies the weaponization of government better than anyone ever could. I know this must be personal for you because your husband's in law enforcement and you obviously work for the government. So y'all have given up your whole lives to serve this country. And if you come forward and you see something that's wrong and you're honest about it, you're retaliated against. What happens next? How can Congress get involved to make sure these bad apples, whoever's responsible for this, gets out of the FBI and to make sure that these individuals get their lives back and they're not reta retaliated against? Well, actually, at one point, Ainsley, uh, the Democrats were saying that Republicans wanted to defund law enforcement. They began vilifying us. And, and I haven't met a Democrat who didn't derive their power from a problem. Uh, so, you know, it's always about what can they do to amplify a problem rather than solve it. And so being the wife of a first responder, my husband has served for 16 years. He's also a SWAT medic. And I was quick to point out that there is nothing, and I know this from personal experience, nothing that a good cop hates more than a bad, a bad cop. cop. Mm -hmm. And so these, these men, as I said, have put everything on the line and the treatment by the FBI of these three gentlemen has now been referred to the Office of Special Counsel and to the IG's office. There will be consequences for the treatment of whistleblowers. They are protected under law. And more importantly, we're going to stop the corruption at the FBI from ever happening again. All right, Congresswoman, thank you so much for coming on. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.